tulikuja katika ofisi tukiwa na changamoto sana ya hii health sector yetu lakini mimi nataka kuhakikishia wananchi wa Busia kwamba tutapata suluhu the whole health system delivery system imekuwa na changamoto vifaa sivitali zetu hazina vifaa za kutosha hatuna wahudumu wa kutosha au wahudumu pia vile ilikuwa imekaa wengi walikuwa wamekaa hawajapata ile promotions ambazo walikuwa wanahitaji ile mambo ya training eh, programs ambazo pia walikuwa wanahitaji pia hii mambo ya madawa katika hospitali eh, tuweze ku streamline sasa hii tunafanya ile eh, facility improvement fund tunataka ile fedha ambazo zinaokotwa katika hospitali ziweze kubaki pale pale but there are provisions of the constitution that are supposed to be complied with we have article 41 which is very clear on conditions uh, of of working and also reasonable working condition and remuneration and promotion and other hr issues are part of that provision of article 20 i mean 41 of the constitution of kenya so ours is simple here we are supporting their cause of going on strike because if the county indeed agreed with them without coercion on 17th as they have stated it is clear that there is no goodwill from the county and therefore when there is no goodwill because once they start with a meeting it is clear indication that they are embracing ADL alternative dis, dis, uh, dispute resolution mechanisms but if they are not worked then uh, there is no any other way because the, the, the constitution also provides them with that right uh, to go on strike. For us as a union we have committed ourselves that by 17th of October we'll be proceed will proceed with our industrial action without further notice because the county government has resorted to go into slumber and ignore the welfare of our members. We had a meeting with the deputy, government, government, deputy governor and the governor, His Excellency Paul Otoma, came in uh, with a technical appearance, but we can say from the meeting, nothing tangible came out from the county apart from showering us with flowers. We are not flower girls. What we need is our promotions to be effected. We have been expecting this for the past three months. Changes in our pay slips, salaries in our account, not sweet words and empty rhetoric from the government. Is that the government is unwilling to promote us and they are sending emissaries to try and cajole us. But for us, we've said we are, we, we are done and we've had enough of their stories. What we want is an effect of our pay slips. Tuesday by 17th, Midnight, that is 12 a.m., we are going to vacate our stations of work. We'll meet in the morning, maybe go to the governor and demand for our salaries. Our main issues are healthcare workers. They are the salary areas, the promotions, and uh, <clears throat> the other issues affecting us is we have very poor, deplorable state of health in Busia County. And it was an embarrassment that during the, uh, a visit by the president recently, there was a blackout and the generator had lacked fuel and we lost some babies in the newborn unit. So there are many issues and the county is aware, but it has chosen to ignore them. I've gathered here, my name is uh, Dr. Joseph Makomere. I'm the treasurer of the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union Western Branch. To the county government and also to the country as a whole that uh, we are tired of the empty rhetoric that is always played out. We are tired of the empty promises that are being given to Monanchi. We are tired of the lies that we are seeing the governors peddling. We are coming out strongly to say and condemn that the levels of health care that we are seeing being offered in our counties are poor. The doctors, the nurses, and the clinical officers, the health care workers are ready. We are trained, but we are expressing our frustrations that we are not getting our salaries on time. We are not getting our promotions on time, and that is frustrating us and demoralizing us. Otherwise, we continue. We are still committed to the cause. We are still committed and ready to serve Kenyans, but we are imploring on Kenyans to know that the poor services that are being offered in the counties is because of poor management that is there. We are imploring on Kenyans to ignore the empty lies that they are given by our governors and our executives, that you know what, the healthcare workers don't want to work, that they are off duty. We are here, we are on duty, but people are dying. You have heard our branch secretary expressing what happened here because we lost some children because of lack of power and even the generator could not work. 